If you're a fan of zombies, superheroes, and action, then we have some exciting news for you. Marvel's What If introduced the zombies into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and now Disney has announced that a new animated series featuring the undead is in development. You heard that correct. An animated Marvel Zombies series has been announced for Disney+, Plus, and here's what we know. Continue watching to know more about the upcoming Marvel shows on Disney+. Plus. First, Marvel Zombies announced for Disney+. Plus. One of the best episodes of What If is about to get into its own spin-off show called Marvel Zombies, which Disney revealed as part of the Disney Plus Day, in addition to a host of other animated shows coming to the streaming service, including a second season of What If. Marvel Zombies will get into its own run of episodes. The new series will be directed by What If director Brian Andrews. The What If episode was based on the early parts of the events from Avengers Infinity War, in which Spider-Man Bruce Banner, Sharon Carter, Okai, and Happy Hogan had to band together to find a cure for a zombie pandemic while trying to avoid being eaten by their former colleagues, Captain America, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, and more of the Avengers team who had been turned into part of the undead horde. The episode concludes with most of the Avengers getting killed aside from T'Challa, Peter, and Scott Lang, who escape with the Mind Stone. Meanwhile, a zombified Thanos waits for his Infinity Gauntlet to receive its final stone, indicating that it truly might be the end of the world. The fun part of Marvel Zombies, at least for me, was to delve into that initial run, said What If head writer AC Bradley in an interview. He continued on to say, probably more than any other What If episode, we drew directly from the comic for inspiration and for actual pieces like scenes because it is so good. Spinoff series Marvel Zombies will follow a new generation of heroes through the zombie apocalypse. It's currently unclear if the series will pick up where the What If zombie episodes left off, but with the emphasis on New Generation, it seems fairly likely that this will be a new universe. Now for other upcoming shows on Disney Plus that we're hyped for. As 2021 comes to a close, Disney Plus is adding heaps of new titles for the next year. Here are a few upcoming shows on Disney Plus that we're excited about. Let's get into it. First, we have Miss Marvel. The Disney Plus Marvel Cinematic Universe is expanding and it's set to include the beloved character Kamala Khan. Miss Marvel, which is based on the Marvel comic superheroine of the same name, is the 18th television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and an installment of Phase 4. Miss Marvel introduces Kamala Khan, a 16-year-old Pakistani-American from Jersey City, an aspiring artist, an avid gamer, and a voracious fan fiction scribe. She's a huge fan of the Avengers and one in particular, Captain Marvel. But Kamala's always struggled to find her place in the world, that is, until she gets superpowers like the hero she's always looked up to. Iman Vellani stars as Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Miss Marvel. Her cast members include Aramis Knight, Sagar Sheikh, Rish Shah, Zenobia Shroff, Mohan Zapor, Matt Lintz, Yasmin Fletcher, Leith Naki, Ashar Usman, Travina Springer, and Nimra Busha. Laurel Martson will reportedly play Zoe Zimmer, one of Kamala's classmates at Cole's Academic High School. The series is directed by executive producers Edel El Arbi and Bilal Fala, Mira Menon, and Sharmin Abed Chinoy, with the executive producer Bisha K. Ali serving as head writer. Bisha K. Ali is currently a writer on the Hulu adaptation of Four Weddings and a Funeral. Miss Marvel premieres on Disney Plus in summer 2022 and consists of six episodes. The season will tie in with 2023 film The Marvels, in which Vellani will reprise her role as Kamala Khan and star alongside Brie Larson and Tayona Paris. Next, She-Hulk. She-Hulk is another upcoming Disney Marvel series based on the comic superheroine of the same name. It's the 20th television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Marvel has yet to announce a specific release date for the series, but the first season will consist of 10 episodes and will premiere in 2022. The series will center on lawyer Jennifer Walters, cousin of Bruce Banner, who inherits his Hulk powers after she receives a blood transfusion from him. Unlike Bruce, however, when she she hulks out, Jennifer is able to retain most of her personality, intelligence, and emotional control. In December 2020, Marvel boss Kevin Feige announced that Emmy-winning actress Tatiana Maslany will be playing Jennifer Walters in the show, confirming the casting rumors that have been circulating since September. Maslany is a fan-favorite actress thanks to her stunning performance in BBC America's Orphan Black, which saw her playing 14 wildly different clones over the course of the series. More recently, she starred in the 
first season of HBO's Perry Mason reboot opposite Matthew Rice. Fleisch also announced that Mark Ruffalo will be appearing in She-Hulk as Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk. Tim Roth will be reprising his role as the Abomination, the villain he played in 2008's The Incredible Hulk. Jamila Jamil has also joined the cast and will play Tatiana, a super strength nemesis of She-Hulk. Jessica Gao, who won an Emmy for writing the Rick and Morty episode Pickle Rick, is the head writer on the series. Kat Koiro and Anu Valia will be serving as directors. Next, Moon Knight. Moon Knight is based on the Marvel comic superhero the same name. It's the 19th television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Marvel is yet to announce a specific release date for the series, but the first season will consist of six episodes and is set to premiere in 2022. It introduces a former U.S. Marine now working for the CIA. Mark experiences dissociative identity disorder. The multiple identities that live inside him are distinct characters that appear against a backdrop of Egyptian iconography. To make matters more complicated, upon discovering an ancient archaeological dig site, Mark's imbued with the powers of the Egyptian moon god, Khonshu. It was previously rumored that Netflix wanted to introduce Moon Knight in one of their Marvel series, similar to The Punisher and Daredevil, before giving him in his own series. For the concept was scrapped. In October 2020, it was announced that Isaac will star as the titular character Moon Knight. He will also serve as an executive producer. Oscar Isaac recently appeared in the 2021 HBO series Scenes from a Marriage and 2021 film Dune. Ethan Hawke will play an as yet unnamed villain inspired by the cult leader David Koresh, infamous for his leadership of the Branch Divians and involvement in the Waco tragedy of 1993. Other confirmed cast members include May Callaway, Loic Mombanza, and Gaspard Ulidian. Jeremy Slater serves as head writer with Mohad Diab as the head director for the first four episodes. Directing duo Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead joined the series in January 2021 to direct the other two episodes. Next up, Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion is based on the Marvel Comics crossover event of the same name. The series is a sequel to Captain Marvel and Spider-Man Far From Home. It's the 21st television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Secret Invasion comics deal with the aspects of a secret invasion. The Skrulls, longtime antagonist aliens in the Marvel Universe, will also have the handy ability to shapeshift, claim the Earth for their own. Throughout the event series, it was revealed that certain heroes had in fact been Skrulls for years. In the comics, Maria Hill has a prominent role, and it's been reported that Kobe Smulders will be returning in the role of Maria Hill from the Avenger movies, including the recent installment Spider-Man Far From Home. She's joining another Avengers co-star, Samuel L. Jackson, who will be reprising his role as Nick Fury. It appears that Fury will be starring figure in the TV adaptation alongside Ben Mendelsohn, reprising his role as the Skrull leader Talos from Captain Marvel. The two were last seen in the post-credits sequence of Spider-Man Far From Home, where the charmingly distraught Talos was impersonating Fury and the actual Fury seemed to be managing a project on a Skrull ship. The rest of Secret Invasion's cast so far includes Oscar winner Olivia Coleman, Amelia Clark, Kingsley Benadir, Killian Scott, and Christopher McDonald, who might be best known for his role as Shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore. The show's creator and executive producer is Kyle Bradstreet, who has some experience with similar themes of the show from his writing and producing on Mr. Robot and Berlin Station. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about the new Marvel Zombies series announced for Disney as well as other upcoming Marvel shows on Disney+. Plus. Are you excited for these upcoming Marvel series? Be sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.